Whenever we hear about any object in our solar system, we wonder what is it? For example, what is the difference between a planet and a dwarf planet? What is a moon? What is a comet? Etc. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Wonders of Rhythmic and today I'm back with the fourth episode of the series Our Solar System. So let's get started. As in my previous episodes of this series, I gave you some interesting facts about our solar system. Even this time I have them. Out of our solar system's total mass, 99.86% is just and just of our sun. And the remaining 0.14% includes these planets, dwarf planets, moons, comets, asteroids, meteoroids, etc. Our solar system has eight planets, five dwarf planets and 200 plus moons and even lakhs and lakhs of asteroids and meteoroids. First of all, let us clearly understand actually what is a planet. According to the International Astronomical Union or IAU located in France, a planet should consist of three categories. The first one is it should orbit the sun. The second one, it should have sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium, means a nearly round shape. The third one is has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. The third one is the latest update to the definition of a planet. But you might be wondering, now planet is understandable. Now what is this dwarf planet? Well, if any of these conditions of being a planet is not followed by any object, then it is directly classified as a dwarf planet. Most of us have grown up thinking that there were nine planets in the solar system and the ninth one is Pluto. But actually, there are eight planets in the solar system now. Pluto was removed from the planet category because it followed the first two conditions which were orbiting the sun and having sufficient mass to have a round shape but has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit which was the latest update made in 2006 was not followed by Pluto and the remaining dwarf planets. That's why it was classified into a dwarf planet. Now. Some of you might be wondering what is a moon then? Well, a moon is a celestial object that orbits a larger celestial object. For example, our moon. It orbits our planet Earth. So, it's a moon. Moons are not only of planets. They can even be of dwarf planets. For example, Pluto has a moon called Ch Charon. It even has more four moons. And you remember in the third episode of this series, about the planet Eris. That planet has one moon, Dysnomia. So, even dwarf planets as well as planets can have moons. The next doubt in your mind might be, what is a comet and an asteroid then? Well, according to the clear definitions, a comet is a body made of rock and ice, typically a few kilometers in diameter, which orbits the sun. This means, a comet is a very big rock which has a lot of ice and it orbits the sun. Now an asteroid is an irregularly shaped rocky body orbiting the sun that does not qualify as a planet or a dwarf planet under the International Astronomical Union's definitions of those terms introduced in 2006. Now a the simple definition for an asteroid is, it is just a rock orbiting the sun. Now, dwarf planets should, most of the dwarf planets have a sh circular shape. A asteroid and a dwarf planet can be compared as an asteroid doesn't have a proper shape. It has irregular shape due to less gravity. And now you might be wondering what is the difference between them. So, an asteroid contains water and even a comet but a comet contains so much water that when it reaches near the sun it 
gets a long tail as you can see in the image whereas an asteroid does not does not have a tail so it is different from a comet when you look at the stars and the galaxy you feel that you are not just from any particular piece of land but from the solar system with this quote i end today's video thank you all for watching and if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below how was the video bye bye